Good afternoon, and welcome to our fourth episode of Countdown to Sun and Fun. I'm your host, meteorologist Amanda Holly from WFLA News Channel 8. Of course, I'm here with my co-host as well, our CEO and president, Gene Conrad, and we have another jam-packed show yes, lined yes, up we today. Do. Yes, we do. That's right, Amanda. We have lots of information today. Stay with us. We have some special guests, including Mr. Eric Crump, to discuss the bash. Our friends from Lakeland International Airport will be here. Two students from the Central Florida Aerospace Academy will tell yeah. us about a huge accomplishment. And our own Laura Vaughn will be here to, tell, to help us answer some last-minute questions. Oh, yeah, I'm it's sure. It's a full show. I'm sure there's plenty coming in. We are very excited. We're just getting started. Our first announcement today is that starting Monday, April 8th, our Sun and Fun Live Today program premieres every morning at 9 Eastern time. We're going to be live with the very latest on Sun and fun. We're going to wake up and tune in to us so you can get a daily review from the day before and a look at the day ahead of the fly-in. So that's Sun and Fun live today. It's next week every single morning, so make sure to set an alarm for that. Right now, though, we are in our final episode of Countdown to Sun and Fun. If you missed any of the first shows, they're available on our YouTube channel. You can search at Fly SNF to go back and watch it after the show. Today, though, it's more important than ever for you to subscribe to our channels and hit that thumbs up button and of course leave a comment. Here's what's really exciting though. We have an exciting giveaway for you today and for those who do so uh, you have to comment and you're going to use the hashtag SNF24 and you can win one of two upgraded Sun and Fun ticket packages for two people. Again with your comments of course this is an interactive program so after you subscribe, after you like and leave a question for us in the comment section of course use the hashtag we're going to answer those questions in just a bit and and then we'll announce the winners at the end of our show today. So should we get started? Let's go. All right. We are officially one week out. Can you believe it? From our 50th fly-in, details are a lot clearer. Give us the latest. Well, we are a one week out, yeah. seven days out. I, I just commented before we came on. I can't even believe we're doing this show <laughs> right now. But, um, hey, we got lots to go over today, so I'm just going to jump in and get going. So <clears throat> just want to remind everybody, daily air shows each day, Tuesday um, through Sunday, 1 to 5 p.m., Opening night concert on Tuesday, um, April 9th, 6 p.m. Dylan Scott with uh, our special guest, Sarah Evans, right there on the Warbird ramp. So we're looking forward to that. Wednesday and Saturday night air shows. Again, both nights have fireworks this year, so you're you not going there. to want to miss that. That's going to be a great thing for everybody. Also, Sunset Aerial Circus. Um, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday evening starts at 7, goes to 8.30 down at Paradise City on the Grass Strip. So even if you're not a concert, concert goer, there will still be activity out there for you, um, you know, flying around. Also, we have a new venue this year. And so if you are a newsletter subscriber, watch our social media over the next couple of days. We have a new venue called The Hangar. Now, the hangar is located right behind Prop 75, um, right by the press center. So if you've already downloaded our app, and hopefully, hopefully you've done that, um, you can find the press center and, um, and Prop 75, but the new venue, the hangar. And I just want to give you some idea of what's happening there. So in the evenings, our movies will be there, but there will also be daytime programming. There's a large stage there. There'll be a large LED screen for the movies as well. So if you're in the campgrounds, either of the campgrounds, whether it's aircraft or RV and tent, um, go to the hangar. Your movies will be there this year. But just to give you an idea, on Monday, April 8th, we'll have the uh, Rocketeer. Um, and we'll have a meet and greet with actually a special guest for the Rocketeer Monday evening. Uh, Tuesday, uh, Warbirds uh, Preserving History with Larry Kelly, who flies a B-25 Panchito. And also that evening it will go dark for the concert. Um, Wednesday during the day at 11 a.m., Captain Melanie Mock Klusner, who flies the F-35, who will be here with the F-35 demo team. So she'll be there and speaking to, to the crowd. Miss America. On, on uh, Wednesday at 5 p.m., we'll be there to talk to the crowd, Lieutenant Marsh. Also at 6 p.m., we'll have Air Legends Foundation um, talking about the Connie, the Baton. I'm with Rod Lewis, Steve Hinton, Stuart Dawson, and Jeff Whitesell. So if you're an aviation enthusiast, those are some big names for you. There is so much other stuff um, for, each, for each day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and for Sunday. Um, we're pretty much not a lot going on on Sunday because that's our last day. But we're going to, if you're a newsletter subscriber, um, watch for The Hangar. We're going to be posting on social media as well. There's a lot more programming. I got, I've got all this other stuff to continue to talk about. Um, but also to my friends at Sun and Fun Radio, quick shout out to them. It's their 30th anniversary this year. Um, and also, <clears throat> they will be live streaming their, um, their broadcast. So typically, you just listen to the radio, but they're going to be live streaming so you can see their beautiful faces and uh, the interaction they're having with their guests each day. 
day. And they'll also have a camera um, with no sound, but just live streaming. They're gonna be looking out over the crowd line. So if you wanna see some airplanes flying in or some of the daily air show, that'll be available for you as well. Um, so go to Sun and Fun Radio on the YouTube channel, um, you know, to catch that. And also to liveatc.net slash SNF to check everything out with Sun and Fun Radio. Also, Tuesday at 10.30 in our pavilion here attached to our museum and the Skylab Innovation Center, we have our innovation preview. So the latest and greatest and leading edge or cutting edge technology, aircraft, new aircraft announcements, new engine announcements, avionics, all that in the pavilion attached here to our museum at 10.30 on Tuesday morning. You're not going to want to miss it. We have over 25 companies that are presenting on that day. Um, we've talked about Future and Flight Plaza, yeah. Women Aces. Um, there's more I will touch on in the end because people are giving me fingers and pointing that I'm supposed to now read this. And then, so I think that's you, actually. Yeah, yeah I so, just want to, you went over just a lot There's a lot, of stuff so there. I don't know how much I'm supposed We're to tell. There's, yeah, there's a lot going on here. There's more, by the way. The Sun and Fun campus. It's really exciting. He did go over a lot. Um, if you missed any of it, it's all on the app. So make sure yes. you download the app. Here is a look at uh, the main page. You can scan that QR code from a different phone or wherever you're watching from, and it's very easy to download. Uh, it's going to have the daily schedule on there, tons of vendors and yep. the list. So if you missed any of that, we and are. And also, I believe the screenshot was the app. And just real quick, yes. and I think I'm 90, 20 seconds behind, <laughs> okay. but I'll take my time. Um, so also on the app, if you go to the homepage right there on the app, we have our Flying Happy Challenge this year. Oh. So we have six giant Adirondack chairs that are color coordinated with our flower boxes and the signage on top because we want to get people out to the various areas on the grounds. And so with that, when you find these chairs um, through the app, you click the QR code, um, you scan the QR code, you take a selfie of each one of those chairs, and then you upload all six of those pictures to Instagram or Facebook, and you get entered to win um, a swag from Flight Outfitters each day, and then the ultimate prize is a ride with Mr. Nathan Hammond and his chipmunk on Saturday wow. of the flying on April 13th. So that's a cool thing. So look for that on the app as well. Get the app and download that. It's and very, now, very informative. Now we'll move along. Okay, all right, all right. That was all a right. lot. That all was right. a lot. Thank you for that update. <laughs> Date, Gene. Definitely a lot going on here <laughs> yes, seven days out, but we are off and running and just getting started for this episode. I want to bring in our first guest. Joining us is Eric Crump, our VP and COO of the Aerospace Center for Excellence. Welcome in. I know you are here to talk about our main mission. Uh, tell us all about it. Sure. So, um, first of all, it's good to be on live. So, yeah. hello, everybody. Um, lovely to hang out with you guys always, especially seven days before <laughs> this awesome event. Um, I don't know, uh, for the general public, if you if you, you come to the show and you see how the sh what the show is, um, I'll take a few of my seconds just to say thank you to this amazing team, uh, this huge volunteer population who make this happen because... Um, Gene has a, a clearly defined vision, a beautiful vision of, of how we celebrate our 50th anniversary. Um, and Gene will tell you there's no way one person or even five could execute this on our own. So just I just want to say quickly just thank you to everybody who's a part of this team, um, whether you're staff, you're volunteers, thank you so much for what you do because there is, there is a method to the madness. There's a reason why we do this. There is. <laughs> there is, in fact, a reason we don't put ourselves through this just for fun. Um, Sun and Fun is a giant fundraiser, right? Mm -hmm. So that whole week, the net proceeds that we make out of the show are what fund what we do as the Aerospace Center for Excellence for the rest of the year, those other 51 weeks. During the week of Sun and Fun, though, on Thursday evening is our bash. It's, a, it's an awesome party. Uh, we call it a party with a purpose. Mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity to hang out with your friends and talk about your day at the show, all the cool stuff that you've seen, but also to participate hands-on with our mission. Uh, this year, we are really excited about bringing some really future forward innovations to the Florida Air Museum. So specifically, we're adding interactive kiosks to our exhibit spaces so that we can really make sure that aviation is for everyone. And what we mean by that is we want to make sure that whether you're an infant or on the other side of an infant, I won't use that word out loud, but um, no matter where you fall in the aviation paradigm, you always have something to do in the Florida Air Museum. We want everybody to be engaged all the time. And so that's the purpose of the kiosks. And also, I'm super excited about raising funds for a custom-wrapped 
P-51 full motion simulator, which will go yes. into the museum. Um, if you're ever looking for Gene and I, we will be in the museum. Yeah, come the April 15th, I'll be in there <laughs> every yeah, day. Yeah, we'll be in the flight simulator if you're looking for us. Um, and so we're very, very excited about raising those funds. That's just, you know, the tip of the iceberg, though. It's the, the bash is a huge opportunity to really focus on one specific project. Last year, we focused on our aviation playground which if I could take you outside right now, I would show you. They're actually constructing it right now. Um, it should be open in a couple of months, and we're very, very excited about that, giving uh, kids an opportunity to play while older kids, mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa have something. Again, some, there's always something to do at the Florida Air Museum. So you talked a little bit about the Aerospace Center for Excellence. A lot of people know about Sun and Fun, but Aerospace Center for Excellence is kind of the umbrella program, mm -hmm. and that is what we're raising money for during the week of Sun and Fun. Talk right. a little bit about what ACE is. So I talk often about the other 51 yes. weeks of the year, right? So we, Gene talks about this all the time. We, we spend all year uh, getting ready to really execute for six days. We have six days mm -hmm. to put on this amazing show, bring in everyone from all over the world to show them aviation. But when all of those people go home, we're still here the other 51 weeks of the <laughs> yes, year. We we're are. actually doing our real job <laughs> we're the working. other 51 weeks of the year, which is engaging, educating, and accelerating the yeah. next generation of aerospace professionals. Um, near and dear to my heart, Gene and I both um, have a, a love of aviation that goes way above and beyond a career. It's a personal thing for us. Um, in many ways, aviation sort of changed my life and really elevated me, no pun intended, um, into a future that I never could have imagined as a small person. So we think that it is not only is it our job, but it's also our privilege and our honor to share that with the next generation. I'm very excited to announce uh, to you guys um, a brand new initiative that rolls out in beta form um, in August. But the Aerospace Center for Excellence has been very busy over the course of the last year writing a proprietary middle school aviation curriculum. It's 140 instructional days worth of curriculum uh, over two years so that we we can help uh, teachers who are traditionally, you know, under-resourced both in, in funds, but also in just background knowledge um, of how, to, how do I teach aviation in my classroom? All my kids are fascinated by it, but what do I do? So in addition to the curriculum, it's also professional development support for the teachers that we provide free. The curriculum and the professional development is completely free to any school who participates in that program. The beta test window is open right now. So I have this awesome opportunity to tell everybody about it. But our beta test window is open right now. We're still taking applications for rollout in August. We're very excited about it. It's a great way to continue that work that really here in the building starts with our story time program on Tuesday mornings. Amanda actually came and read a story. Yeah, uh, we for, for our story time audience just a couple of weeks ago, um, really from the, the smallest pre-K kids um, mm -hmm. all the way through high school. We're going to talk to some of our CFA students here in a little bit, so you'll see what the other end of that spectrum looks like, and then the propellant to really carry them through the future of their career. And I think we have a little video, right? We do, in fact. Let's, let's show the Dave, video. Dave, play the people a video. Attention students, parents, and educators. The Aerospace Center for Excellence ACE is revolutionizing middle school education. Introducing the Middle School Aerospace Curriculum. This program consists of daily lesson plans, presentations, activities, worksheets, and projects for educators designed to make learning fun and engaging. This content is aligned to next generation science standards and the International Technology and Engineering Educators Association standards, making it easy to adopt and incorporate in any learning environment. Students can expect an exciting and engaging deep dive into the technology driving the aerospace field, as well as an exploration of emerging career opportunities in unmanned aircraft outer space, and much more. Educators benefit from in-person and virtual professional development opportunities offered by ACE throughout the year. We provide the curriculum and the support for successful implementation in the classroom. If that's not enough to get you excited, the big news is this curriculum is free to implement, and it always will be. At ACE, we believe that a bright future requires investment in the present. The beta testing window for our year one curriculum is open now. Visit the ACE website for more information about this awesome program and how your school can get involved.
that was amazing. It's all right. <laughs> You're excited about it. I'm so it. excited. Yeah. As we've been working on this for a year. There were a few people who knew about it, who yeah. our partners who've been helping us with development. But it's so exciting to get to tell everybody about this program. I cannot wait to see what it does when it rolls out in the field in August. And how quickly tell us how people can you know get the program. Yeah. So like the like the um, the video said, you just go to aceedu.org, look under programs, and there's a link for middle school curriculum. Everything else you need to know is available there. So again, Sun and Fun is all about the other 51 weeks of the year. We love providing you the week of Sun and Fun, but there is a much bigger purpose to it. Absolutely. And for the record, I'm also very excited about Sun yes. and Fun. Oh, good. I still, I still look up every time I hear an airplane fly over. Me too. I spend six days just with my head up. i got to make sure I don't walk into a golf cart. There's a lot of people here next <laughs> there week. There are a lot of people here next week. Thank you so Thanks much, Thanks for having Eric. me, guys. Thank Thanks, you for Eric. being Appreciate here. Appreciate everything. <laughs> All right. Well, let's turn it back to Gene now. We're uh -oh. going to talk about camping at Sun and Fun. That does include airplane camping, which starts this Saturday. Gene, there's still a lot of possibilities still available. Uh, so break it down for us who for those who wish to camp. Yeah, so the big thing is, and if you've been watching, obviously this is our fourth episode now. So the last three episodes, we've been talking about camping, aircraft mm -hmm. camping, having the field ready to go and wanting people to fly in early. So again, the field will be available for camping Saturday, April 6th at noon. Um, the island is up, so the tents are already up at the island. So Fresco's, our food and beverage tent is up. Uh, the Pilot Welcome Center tent is up. Um, also, our island store and the shower houses and the comfort stations are out there as well. And I was out there pounding uh, fence posts yesterday. <laughs> so I visually verified that those things are, are up in the air. So we're excited Great. about that. But again, want to have all the amenities and everything ready to go for our fly-in guests starting April 6th at noon. Also, for our RV and tent campers. Actually, our camper registration off of Hamilton Road on the far west end of the airport opened this morning, actually. Um, so uh, there are actually campers. Um, coming in, so yep. we're excited about that. They've been coming in another gate closer to um, to our offices here, but the far west end off of Hamilton is now open. So if you're coming in, um, go to Hamilton Road to go to a camper registration to get in and get your camp spot. Um, and then, you know, some other things with with the island that I want to touch on as well. Um, so, again, the island is out there in the center of all the aircraft camping areas, all right? And so we talk about Fresco's Pilot Welcome Center at the island, but also remember there are rental cars there. Um, we also have the Uber and Lyft drop-off area, again, which we fenced out yesterday, um, which is very, very important. Publix Instacart deliveries um, can be done out there as well. So if you're wow. wanting something for Publix or you forgot something, if we don't have it in the island store, you can obviously... Um, if you have the Instacart app, get on Instacart and have it, you know, pick it out from Publix. Um, and then also we have movies out there as well. So I don't have the movie schedule. We're going to be get ready to um, post that as well. Um, but our movies are back at the island, um, you know, for all of our campers are going to be joining us here shortly. Do you want to show everyone where exactly this is on the map? Yeah, quick. if I can do that, I'll move to the map real quick. And so we'll zoom in a little bit here. If we can do that, I think we're going to switch. Yeah, we're going to go to the aerial. There we go. There we go. So here again, here's the island. So you can see my big hand there. That's the big Fresco's tent, the Pilot Welcome Center right here, the island store. Um, we have the shower houses, the comfort stations, also our tram stop, which I forgot to mention. So you can see the, the little U here, that is our tram stop, um, tram stop number seven, actually. Um, the movie area is back here. And then you can see in relation to everything else, um, how close everything is, if I can zoom out a little bit. So these are the seaplane, or the uh -huh. seabird areas right here. This area right here, um, this is a new area for us this year. It's a bush wheel base camp. So all of our big tire friends, our stole friends, um, in this whole area where there are cars will be packed. I just talked to Anitra, um, our chair, our chairwoman who's uh, heading up that area today. We have 46 aircraft already reserved to go in this area. So we're already looking for overflow <laughs> areas. Um, obviously down here is Paradise City. We are completely packed. You can see, the, you know, it's kind of, we had a good exhibit, good exhibitor list last year, but this place is completely packed even across on the other side of the road and then vintage. And then here is GAC um, and then our home built friends and home built camping. So again, the island right front and center of everything in the middle. Uh, will be ready to go on Saturday, April 6th at noon. So right. we're ready to go. And, and the big campground on the far west end again for all of our RV and tent friends um, is ready to go. Our shower houses are open. Um, you know, people have been arriving actually for the last couple of weeks, especially our volunteers that are getting here early to help us you know, get ready. Over 2,900 of them. So wow. they're all coming in force this year. All so right. And you have one last go. reminder for our, from our friends at uh, Shelter, right? 
Yes. And um, so our friends at Shelter have a terrific program underway. You know, we talked about this, I believe, yeah. our last show. Shelter is donating 10 cents of every gallon of fuel that you purchase, whether it's here on, this, on the Lakeland International Grounds or during Sun and Fun, or you can see here the locations on the way in as well. So the one out there in Colorado, I actually wrote this down, is Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Area. So if you're coming from, you're coming from the far west, um, you can stop there at Rocky Mountain Metropolitan. You also have um, Denton, Texas. So our friends, again, coming from Texas or uh, places west can stop there. And then we have our Lawrenceville, um, Lawrenceville, Georgia uh, location, Savannah, Georgia. And then you have Panama City, Jacksonville, Ocala, and Daytona, I believe, as well. Yep, DAB is on there. Yeah. Um, so all those locations actually starting April 5th through April 15th. So when, as you're flowing down or you are flying back, um, you know, th that 10 cents at all of those locations, including right here at Legoland International Airport. Um, you know, it's a, it's a big thing for us. We are truly appreciative of our friends at Shelter, um, you know, to being, for being great partners and partnering with, with us on this program. And then we just talked about the bigger purpose. It all goes toward the Aerospace Center for Excellence. It goes right back to the Aerospace Center for Excellence. And that's Absolutely. that's what we're all here for next week. So yes, we thank you for that update, Gene. Next up, our friends from Lakeland Linder International Airport is going to be joining us. Gene is also going to be back to answer more questions. I have a lot on today. How to park, where to go when you get here. Plus, we're going to be talking about information that is going to make all of us hungry. Details about the 927 Club Sunday brunch. That is all coming up as Countdown to Sun and Fun continues after this break. Light the way with D2 Mach 1 Pro, the smartwatch for pilots with a built-in flashlight. D2 Mach 1 Pro features a brilliant 1.4-inch touchscreen AMOLED display and up to 25 days of battery. D2 Mach 1 Pro includes an aeronautical database to give you airport information and direct to navigation, including a moving map and HSI. Light the way with D2 Mach 1 Pro. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, my mask up. You don't know who I am. Whether I'm African American, Asian American, Hispanic, white, male or female, you just know I'm an American Airman kicking your butt. I'm General C.Q. Brown, Jr. Come join us. Welcome back to Countdown to Sun and Fun. We want to remind you to help us spread the word about this live stream. Remember also to leave a comment and use the hashtag SNF24 and you could win one of two upgraded Sun and Fun ticket packages for two. We're going to be answering some of your questions in just a bit and then of course we'll announce those winners at the end. So keep the questions coming in. We just got a few of them. We are keeping an eye on that section. I want to bring in now Adam Lund, the Assistant Airport Director of Lakeland Linner International with an update on the airport side of things here at Sun and Fun. First off, thanks for being here. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Uh, super excited to be here with, with Gene. Gene's actually my former boss over at yes. the airport, so uh, he actually gave me my, my first chance here, here at LAL. So happy to be here today and talk to everybody about what we're doing on the airport side of the mm -hmm. house to, to be ready for this massive event that's, that's going to be here next There's week. a lot going on everywhere. A lot <laughs> going on. Um, and uh, just to kind of let, let everyone know where we're at from, mm -hmm. from a prep standpoint, uh, our team has been working overtime to get it done. I can't 
can't thank them enough. They were here this weekend. We pulled in extra personnel to make sure the field looks immaculate. And I'll have to say, the field looks amazing out it there. It does, absolutely. Uh, for everyone flying in, it looks absolutely beautiful. And uh, so we're really excited to welcome everyone here next week. But um, our team continues to prep. We continue to, to get the airfield mode. We get that to, to get that ready. We continue to prep our taxiway, which turns into a runway. So mm -hmm. we'll be officially putting out the banners that designate that as a runway this Thursday. Uh, so folks on the radio, you'll start hearing that chatter, all that new new uh, new terminology with uh, Taxway Alpha becoming our parallel runway. Um, so our team continues to work. We continue to prep, and we'll be working right up until the first day of the show to make sure that everything's ready to go. And there's a lot that goes into this. How many weeks have you been preparing for this? Absolutely. So we, 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 we kind of joke, but we really start prepping for the next year, the day after. I think our first phone show. call about this year's air show was actually the second week of, right, the second week right after our it, show last year yeah. is our first phone call. It was. It, it was our second week after after the show. So we immediately start putting together our, our after action plans. And we take feedback from all of all the visitors that are coming into the airport, and we implement that into next year as best we can. Um, but the, the process really... Uh, uh, kicks off once we start working with the FA on our NOTAM. Uh -huh. And uh, as pilots are familiar, we've got the NOTAM out there. Uh, so please make sure that you're paying attention to that. We do have a change this year. So we're trying big to make change, sure, big change. spread the word, everyone flying in, there is a change to the approach procedure. So uh, please make sure that, that that you guys are pulling that, having that with you in the cockpit. It's so important. And make sure that you're listening up to air traffic control. And also the FA produced a new video this year um, for that a new approach. So, you know, encourage everybody to go to our website at flysnf.org as well to make sure they, they check out that uh, the video that the FAA produced. It's very, very well done. And again, the new approach it doesn't start at Lake Parker. It starts out at Fantasy of Flight. And there's even a point beyond that called uh, Middle of Nowhere, I believe, is, is the... Yes. Uh, and the identifier for that, so it's way out there. So yeah. as we, we get you know heavy volumes of traffic in here, expect that. So. Yeah, up up over the green swamp and and yep. our traffic friends, we we've been working with them for for some time now to to modify this approach procedure to make it easier and and safer for everyone attending the event. Yeah, but talk a little bit too about you know when when you guys are coordinating with the FAA and FISDO and all that, even with the NOTAM specifically. So it's not just the arrival procedures and what's happening here on the ground. It's also whether it's Paradise City. And, and the altitudes and the different you know patterns that people are flying it's a showcase pattern it's chopper town there is a lot going on and then all of the air show coordination that you guys have to help us with yeah absolutely so uh, we're, we're working with the air traffic team to make sure that that we are we are ready to go and as far as uh, comparing altitudes and looking at those patterns and what's going to happen we kind of use spaghetti models is mm -hmm. is, yeah. is, is kind of <laughs> what, what we call it um, so we actually plot all the altitudes and all the different patterns to make sure that the aircraft are safe uh, depending on where they're Operating, whether that's at Paradise City in Choppertown coming in on the main runway, we have the Warbird South arrival. So there's a lot of things happening at one time, and our friends at the FAA and air traffic control are amazing. They are the best in the business, and uh, they come in and help us out each year with that. Um, but we also help help Gene's team and uh, them coordinating waivers for air show. Uh, if you've been in the area, you've probably seen the uh, the, the Ghost Squadron practicing mm -hmm. as well yep. uh, overhead. So uh, we've had the, the pleasure of having them in the airspace as well. So there's a lot of things leading up to the event that we're doing to help coordinate uh yeah. A lot of pieces to the puzzle that are coming together here. Last minute changes here over the last week. And uh, yeah, we should have six days to go. Yes, it's counting down right to it. And our team will be here all weekend, making sure that, that everything's done and ready for all of our visitors coming in. Very excited about that. And I want to bring it back one more time. It's all about the mission. Yeah. You are a product of the Aerospace Center for Excellence. I am. I, I'm a product of, of the system, as it were. Uh, I attended the very first destination aviation camp that, that at the time the Florida Air Museum hosted. And uh, since then, um, I've just been infatuated by aviation. I volunteered here for many years out in home-built camping. Uh, so this event and this organization is near and dear to me. Um, and a special shout-out to my sister, who also works here. Oh, yeah, and so, Kimberly was here, yeah, you know, yeah. I think on the last show of the show <laughs> yeah. before as well. Yeah, yep. so it's it's the whole family. We're, 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 we're all involved, and it really is amazing to see how this event can impact not just one person, but an entire family uh, as it's done for us. Well, it's amazing. We'd love to see it. Yeah, and I would just like to give a quick shout out to the entire airport team, to the city of Lakeland, Lakeland International Airport, Adam and Chris Hallstrand, the airport director, and Craig and Anthony and the crew and the entire team. 
you guys do a phenomenal job for us. You, you bend over backwards, you help us. It's not always yes, but we've, we've, we find a way to get there and we appreciate everything, so thank you. Absolutely, we, we, we appreciate that, Gene, and our team is, is dedicated to it. We got a lot of passionate people over there. Oh yeah. Uh, so uh, we're, we're very- I happy hired most the of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really appreciate you being here, Adam. We thank you for all of the cooperation and we look forward to next week. Yes, thank you. Thanks, Adam. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. All right, it is of course always a pleasure to work with the team at the airport. All right, we are going to now answer some big questions visitors have when they come to Sun and Fun. What happens when you get here? The roads, the parking, tickets, how does it all work? You mentioned it earlier, the trams, how people can get around, because there's not just, I mean, it's a big area for you to walk around, but you don't have to walk everywhere. That's correct. So I don't know how it all works, but somehow <laughs> it does. Um, but I will tell you, I mean, during the rest of the year, we sit on about 177 acres here at Lakeland International Airport. But during the event, uh -huh. we expand out into 800 acres. So there is a lot of acreage to cover. Um, so one of the big things is for parking. So number one is Go to fly, flysnf.org, get your parking online when you're buying your tickets. You, it's $10 online, yep. it's $20 if you get here and you hadn't bought it online, so we encourage you to do it online because it'll help you get in the parking lots as efficiently as possible. When you arrive this year, there's been construction on Pipkin Road, which is on the south side of the airport. Um, it's in good shape for our event right now, um, but pay attention to our Polk County Sheriff Office um, uh, deputies that are out there, they do a phenomenal job managing the traffic for us. They really did an excellent job last year. Um, you know, to help get people into the parking lots as quickly as possible, but follow their instructions and their directions. And then once you get up to the gates, um, our people will be there at, at, our, um, at our ticket booths, um, and they'll be there to scan your prepaid parking, hopefully. Um, if not, then they'll do the exchange, um, you know, for cash or whatnot, and then we'll have all of our volunteers out there to help guide people into their parking positions. So make sure you're just paying attention, help our folks out there um, so you can get into parking as quickly and efficiently as possible. So that's very, very important for everybody. And then once you're here and you're coming into the event, obviously you're going to come through main registration in the middle of our, of our site or on the far east end, what we call east main registration and, and our east main auto parking. Um, but we have our tram system yes. here. So um, we did focus quite a bit on it last or this past year um, to make sure we implement the best system possible. Um, so obviously you download our app. Uh, the tram map is there and it is available for you. And then we have four different routes, our green, yellow, red, and our blue route. So green is generally just our camping on the far west end. Uh, the yellow is in our exhibit area, or what we call the core. Um, so you can see that there. And then the red and the blue is all air side. So each one of those routes in red and blue will have five trams on them, um, all moving at the same time. And you can see the various stops there. Number seven, which I mentioned earlier at the island, um, and then f even far out on the east end. So for general aviation parking, general aviation camping, and you're moving back towards the island at number seven. Um, you know, we want to make sure we can get all of those folks out there that are just arriving, um, you know, here to the field and to the event. Um, so very detailed map this year. Um, also, again, our flower boxes with our signage will be at each one of the tram stops. Everywhere where we can put a shade tent, we're going to have that along with benches. So as you're, you know, making a couple minute wait um, for the tram to show up, um, you, you'll have some shade and some benches to sit on and wait for them to get there. But we've really put a lot of effort into it this year. And uh, we know we're going to have, hopefully you guys will all have a great experience. Um, but again, there is a lot going on. Again, whether it is aircraft arriving, RVs and tents, or RVs and campers arriving, um, par car parkers, our tram system. Uh, you know, again, I think I've mentioned it before, but it, you know, it's a logistical ballet and we could not do it without our volunteers and yeah. you know, my team and all the planning that's gone into what we're getting ready to execute here in seven days. Everything ramps yes. up here over that's, the next few days. <laughs> is it e as easy as waiting at the tram stop and getting right on the tram and then it takes you? Yes, absolutely. Right. I mean, as soon as it shows up, but again, pay attention because some of, if you saw on the far east end, um, some of them are doubled up, so it's a red and blue stop. So okay. make sure make the sure. trams will be labeled accordingly. So if you want to get the red, um, you know, grab the red or the blue, and some of those are doubled up. So you'll see the signage. It'll be half red, half blue to identify um, which one you want to get on. So make sure you're, you're paying attention to those trams. No different like the subway. You go to New York or Washington, D.C., the metro, um, you know, and you look at the routes, and sometimes it can be confusing, but, you know, after you've done it one or two times, you, you, everybody will be able to figure it out. So yeah, and if you hop on the, you know, the wrong line, you take a nice little loop. Enjoy all the airplanes on. you're going to see <laughs> yeah, on the field. Exactly. So, and, and then the breeze as you're moving exactly. along. So, and 
shade, so it'll yeah, be good. Color-coded, easy yes. to use. So uh, I'm very excited about that tram system. I think that'll Absolutely. be wonderful for everyone coming out to Sun yeah, So it should be good. All righty. Well, Nancy Leanhouse could not join us today. So you and I, we got, we're going to have to talk about the Sunday brunch experience available at the 927 Club. And we, as a fair warning for you, this is going to make some of our viewers hungry. Uh, this is a big deal. Yes, it is. And so, you know, 927 Club, obviously Nancy does a phenomenal job for us, her and her volunteers. The tent is up, mm -hmm. so I know she's out there working right now, <laughs> so she couldn't be here with us today. But our Sunday brunch is absolutely phenomenal. Sunday champagne brunch. I can't partake in that because right. I'm busy, we're all working. <laughs> um, but, you know, the rest of y'all, it is a fabulous experience. So it starts at 10 a.m., um, and brunch starts at 10 a.m. and runs to 2 p.m. So cocktail shrimp on ice carving with the 927 logo, which is always beautiful. Yeah. I always tell people, it's so fancy in there, and then there's this ice sculpture, and there's shrimp going through it. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, so take a um, picture of it. There are omelet stations, waffle stations, parfait stations. Did I pronounce that right? Parfait, yeah. I believe that's yeah. correct. Okay, roast beef and country ham carving stations, mm -hmm. a cheese board and smoked salmon board, house-made sausage and bacon. Good thing I ate lunch <laughs> earlier today. Uh, homemade pastries, fresh fruit, Fresh squeezed orange juice by Nancy Leanhouse herself. Just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, Colombian coffee, chocolate covered strawberries. Always, always good. Homemade marshmallows and pretzels. I don't know what else to tell you. It is fabulous. Sounds delicious. Um, I'm hungry now. <laughs> you know, but you know, tickets are still available for for the Sunday brunch on uh, on uh, Sunday. Uh, but I will tell you, for nine two seven, Wednesday mm -hmm. sold out. Yeah. I will tell you, I looked at probably 12, maybe 11.30. There were only eight tickets left for Friday. Saturday is sold out, and weeklies are sold out. Wow. So if there's any interest for Friday, I encourage you, you better go do it right now, or they there's may even be left. gone. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, you know, but Tuesday, Thursday, and then obviously our Sunday brunch is, they're still available. And if you want to do the Sunday brunch, you got to pre-purchase it, uh, yes. obviously, until supplies last. But uh, sa before Saturday, Saturday, April 6th, we got to yes. make Saturday, sure. Yes, Saturday, April 6th is the cutoff for all. All yes. 927 purchases because we have to know how many people are going to be in each day right. to so the proper amounts of food are ordered and all that good stuff. But right. the tent is up. It is ready to go. It's going to be an awesome experience. So yeah. encourage everybody to participate. Hey, and if you just... If you just want to come out, you know, you know, bring your spouse, you bring your partner out and, you know, have a good time with us on Sunday. And it's less traffic on Sunday, too. So it's actually you know, Saturday is just craziness out yeah. here, which is great. And we love it. Everybody's here to see the Thunderbirds and have a good time. But Sunday is a little bit more relaxed. It is. Um, and a good time as well. Also a great air show. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, Sun and Fun is so much more than the air show and the expo. Our roots are in education. Next up, we have two students from the Central Florida Aerospace Academy. They're going to be joining us with news of a major accomplishment. That is when we return on Countdown to Sun and Fun. I love aircraft, and so I love working on airplanes, and I love being around airplanes. I got that bug at an early age. There's no better feeling than watching that plane that you've worked on all day, put all this time and effort in, take off safely with all the people on board. I, I've been with the company for 25 years, and in the last 12 months, we have seen this meteoric rise in the level of performance and achievement. The goal of Piedmont is to provide a safe operation. We all learn from each other. We're constantly revolutionizing what we do, giving our customers the best experience possible, and we're having a good time doing it. My favorite part about working for Piedmont are the flight benefits. So I always tell people how awesome it is to be able to fly wherever you want to go for free. I could not beat basically this offer to work here. It definitely is a great place to start. I don't see myself anywhere else, and I have a home here. It's where we find community, and it's where the heart is. DreamFinders Homes, homes built to fit your lifestyle. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make.
Welcome back and thank you for sticking with us on Countdown to Sun and Fun. This is another reminder for you to keep those questions coming in to the comment section. We are keeping an eye There's on them. There's a lot. Yep, we're getting them written down and handed to us and we're going to be answering a few of those shortly. And don't forget, you could win one of two upgraded Sun and Fun ticket pa packages for two people today on this live stream. All you have to do is leave a comment with the hashtag SNF24 during this live program. We're going to be announcing those at the end. Very excited about that. Also a reminder about a program note we have for you. Starting Monday, that's next week, and every morning through the last day of Sun and Fun, we're going to be back with a special program called Sun and Fun Live today at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Gene and I are going to be here to update you on the day's events. We're going to have recaps from the day before, guests joining us, fly-in weather, plenty of tips to help you uh, make Sun and Fun your experience the best that it could possibly be. That all starts Monday, 8 a.m. Uh, it's Monday, April 8th at 9 a.m. there, Eastern Time, Sun and Fun Live today. It's going to be right here on Facebook, YouTube, so make sure to set your alarms and tune in. All right, moving along here, a couple of students from the Central Florida Aerospace Academy are joining us. We have Steve Tellman and Quest Hips. Welcome in, first of all, and thank you for joining us. I'm very excited to talk to you both. Steve, I'm going to start with you, though. You have actually earned the right to participate in an international soaring competition. First off, tell me what that is. So so the Junior World Gliding Championships is available for any glider pilots under the age of 26, and that's regulated through the uh, FAI Sporting Code. So to kind of get to the point of getting to the World Gliding Championship, you have to do um, one contest they've flown in a national or a national contest. Okay. And then once you get qualified, the U.S. Junior Committee um, handpicked and selected myself and three other um, glider pilots. So the four of us are going to go and fly in Austro Poland in the summer this year in wow. July. Wow! So how did how did you guys get started in this? So Aero Club has started a glider program this year. Um, we, myself, my father, and a couple other instructors through Tampa Bay Soaring have been teaching other CFAA and Aero Club member um, students here. Quest recently just got his private pilot glider, and now we're awesome. working on getting his cross country program kind of pushed through along, and he's kind of like our guinea pig for it. There you Very go. Good. How old are you gentlemen? I'm 18. I'm 16. 16. They're pretty young they're, you're and very, talented. Yeah, talented. You have a lot ahead. But tell me a little bit more about the competition uh, and what you guys are going to be doing the week of Sun and Fun. So during Sun and Fun, Quest and I are on the Lakeland Aero Club's Calvary team. So we're running the tail end parking this year, um, kind of in preparation for the world's team. Mm -hmm. Quest is going to be my lead for the ground crew here, so on days when I happen to not make it back to an airport, I have to land at another airport or in a field. He's going to bring the trailer, and we're going to disassemble the glider, put it in the trailer, and sh take it back to the airport, fly again the next day. Um, preparing for the Worlds also, the four pilots have been having regular Zoom calls mm -hmm. to kind of go over strategies, the weather there. We've kind of been doing like a, a study on it, um, and it's just a lot of process on the legalization, like getting our sure. licensing done over there, uh, getting securing aircrafts for ourselves, the process for that. And you have some fundraising going on for it. Yes. So Sun and Fun, on the last newsletter they sent out, they sent out a flyer with the Lakeland Aero Club um, students on it, mm -hmm. and that has a QR code you can scan to donate. We are raising, trying to raise at least 20 grand per pilot to go over to Poland, um, and we've got some donations already. And what will you be doing the week of Sun and Fun? How can people come and help you? During the week of Sun and Fun, we will be selling coffee uh, mugs and patches that I've designed. And then we request a minimum of $20 donation. And you can find those over at the Lakeland Aero Club hangar. That's amazing. Well, very, real quick, Quest, how did you get involved in aviation? What started your yeah. love for aviation? Um, as a kid, my, uh, I used to travel with my dad a lot. And we went to Australia on one trip. And I got to sit in the cockpit. Uh, and ever cool. since then, I've kind of just been in the flying. And this year, I joined uh, CFA, and I met uh, Eric Tellman, his father, yep. and they got me out at uh, TBS Soaring, and I just got into it. That was the end of it, right? Yep. <laughs> you're, you're, you're hook, line, sinker yeah. into it, right? Are you a James Ray Scholar as well? I just uh, did the interview a couple oh, weeks ago. Good. Yep. Awesome. Well, good luck to you. We mm -hmm. appreciate everything. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for making us look good. You guys are phenomenal. And, and hey, best of luck for you guys in the future, especially in Poland. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so thanks much. for your help during Sun and Fun this year. Yeah. We appreciate it. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Best of luck. All right. Well, Jean, there is a wonderful example of the education opportunities here. But as we look forward to our 50th fly-in celebration, we can't look forward without looking back. Yeah, Amanda, we're, we are taking the time this year to focus on our five decades, mm -hmm. half a century yeah. of the fly-in. I can't even believe it. I'm not even half a century <laughs> old. We put together a series of videos that focus on our pioneers who we love dearly. They are the people who started Sun and Fun. We owe everything to their passion, yeah. commitment, and sacrifice. Here is the fourth installment of the Pioneers of Sun and Fun series. It's 1985, and President Ronald Reagan begins his second term, and later in the year meets with Soviet leader Gorbachev on arms control. The cost of a first-class postage stamp is 20 cents. Coca-Cola attempts to change its 99-year-old formula. New Coke is a disaster. The rebranded classic returned. Sun and Fun has a decade of history now and is building permanent structures and figuring out its bigger purpose. So looking at the future uh, was something of a luxury back then. I think we were um, really focused on survival. We better start moving out of tents and start putting some permanent structures here. And that's why you saw early on the commercial buildings. And so we were able to build an infrastructure, uh, a sense of permanence, because it got awful windy and those tents started bouncing, the tent pegs were all over the place. But it did become obvious after about 10 years that uh, there needed to be a, a, a paid staff, somebody to, number one, answer the phone. And then right thereafter, uh, we had a security thoughts started out with a volunteer that lived in a, lived in his own trailer and then he he got to stay in the trailer as long as he watched the property it kind of grew like topsy through the early 80s and uh, and uh, into the late 80s when we started putting some real buildings down here the planning for the growth of sun and fun continued side by side with running the fly-in the pioneer spirit and friendship was the glue that kept it going Part of it is the camaraderie of all the friends and volunteers and staff and once you really bond with somebody, you, you just love them and you look forward to seeing them. And There's so many people I never would have met that have became close friends. A lot of them have a past. A lot of them I see throughout the year um, and we've just grown close. Um, just just good good friends and I'm making more this year since I'm living out here now when my wife passed um, earlier this year um, we had um, over 20 people come to her service and you just don't know how meaningful that was my heart has always been where you know, I did the volunteer coordinator. I was also the gift shop manager for years and years and years, along with exhibits. I had so many ladies that volunteered in the gift shop, and they were practically on call 24-7. If something came in or we had a load of t-shirts that came in, they, they were there. It didn't matter what day it was, when it was. You know, we'd make lunches back there or cook some soup back there, and just, it, it was just very quaint. Next time in part five of this series, we'll hear about the importance of what the whole focus of Sun and Fun has become. From the museum, to the school, to the Aerospace Center for Excellence. That and much more as we continue with the pioneers celebrating the 50th fly-in. Something that there's unintended consequences. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just talking? See, we we're talking about Sun and Fun. They we're didn't even give us a heads up. We're talking about the week up. ahead. 
I was asking him what else he had going on. Yeah, we were talking about like conflicts when we're like building tents and there's unintended consequences when you change something. So we're working through all kinds of stuff like that. It, so. it, it, we, every, every single day there's something yes. going on. And then and we were talking about the eclipse because you're headed we out were, to Texas yes. to go check out the eclipse. Of course, so. that is Monday. We had yes. a whole segment on it last time. Um, I'm excited. If, again, if you are flying into Sun and Fun, try and fly in somewhere along that path of totality while it is uh, in totality wherever you can be just plan for the traffic because it's going to be crazy yep. um, so but yes exciting yes. week exciting week ahead but we are going to address those viewer questions coming up we're going to take another little short break Laura Vaughn is going to join us as we continue with this countdown to sun and fun light the way with D2 Mach 1 Pro, the smartwatch for pilots with a built-in flashlight. D2 Mach 1 Pro features a brilliant 1.4-inch touchscreen AMOLED display and up to 25 days of battery. D2 Mach 1 Pro includes an aeronautical database to give you airport information and direct to navigation, including a moving map and HSI. Light the way with D2 Mach 1 Pro. In the Air Force, we fly airplanes. Our job is to put those aircraft in the sky. Service it, gas it up, do the inspection, keep it mission ready. None of these jets would make it off the ground without us. We deal in high stakes situations, a lot of moving parts, while still maintaining that fast pace. We're all working towards one mission. A lot of the work is done in teams. You get to drive and operate all kinds of equipment from towing trailers to lifting each individual weapon. You never do anything alone. Somebody's always got your back. We rely on each other as technical experts to know how we're gonna get it fixed. You will not find a harder working group of people than U.S. Air Force maintainers. We're a little gritty, but we get the job done. It's where we find community, and it's where the heart is. DreamFinders Homes, homes built to fit your lifestyle. Welcome back to Countdown to Sun and Fun. Okay, we're on. <laughs> we were ready this time. Yes. <laughs> this is a final reminder of our giveaway today. If you have left a comment and have included the hashtag SNF24, you have been entered to win one of two upgraded Sun and Fun ticket packages for two, and we're going to announce that at the very end. But we have some questions to get through, so I want to bring in Laura Vaughn, Sun and Fun Executive Director of Expo Operations, yes. to help us with some of these questions. We've had I'm quite sure a few. I'm sure y'all got it handled pretty well. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to give you all the hard ones, yeah. Laura. Oh, great. And I already <laughs> picked them all out. They're right here. Really appreciate I, I'm that. I'm only taking the softballs today. So okay. That's well, I'll take, I'll take the first easy one. Uh, we got a question about if you can prepay for parking, and the answer is yes, it is encouraged. Yes. It is cheaper to prepay for your parking. Uh, you can do it where you purchased your ticket on our website. And it helps us move our lines quicker. Yes. So you're helping us by prepaying. Hey, well, up the process. I'm going to do the next Go question if you don't mind. So this is actually for Amanda. What is the <laughs> average temperature in Central Florida for the week of Sun and Fun? I know what my answer is, 75, and the dew point's about 25, and that's what it usually, I'm kidding. The question was, it was what you want it to be. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the average? So the average high is 82. The average low is about 61. Now, of course, we do know that it fluctuates a lot higher than that, a lot lower than that. We've had some really chilly years, uh, and there's some been some very hot years as well. Right now, forecast-wise, it is 
looking pretty warm for the first few days, watching for the possibility of a cold front to come in maybe toward the middle Thursday, Friday time frame. Still a little far out to pinpoint some of those details, but we'll be talking about that every day. So you uh, should next have been week. in my office yesterday oh, when yeah. I was like trying to tell somebody what the weather was going to be like. Yes. Call so, me up if we, if we, okay, if call we could predict yes. that, we'd yes. all be down at Publix getting lottery tickets. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. They're very true. All right. Can you can we bring a stroller? Absolutely, because okay. we want the young ones to come as well. We yes, and with strollers, lots of questions. Actually, you know, I, I kind of monitor our social media, media a little bit. Uh, Kathy probably doesn't like me doing that, but anyway. Um, also, lots of questions about chairs, like fold-up mm -hmm. chairs and whatnot, especially on the concert day. So you can bring right. fold-up chairs with you, strollers. We just don't have a place to store them, That's so correct. you kind of have to keep an eye on, out for them or have someone watch them for you. But those little tow-behind wagons as well, right. the fold-up wagons as well, those are also, um, you can bring those and into. And event. we do have a vendor on site that also rents uh, the wagons, okay. the wheelchairs, um, mobility scooters as well. Very so. good. Awesome. awesome. Is All there right. a balloon launch? Yes, there is a balloon yeah. launch. So the balloon launch this year is scheduled for Saturday morning at 7 a.m. So April 13th, Saturday, 7 a.m., um, right there on uh, Taxiway Delta, right in front of the crowd line. Yes. Absolutely. Weather permitting. Weather permitting. Weather permitting. Yes. Weather it's permitting. always the winds are the big dictator mm -hmm. of what is going on with the balloon launch. And so, so maybe Amanda can like Amanda give us a will heads call up, up on the someone, wind. some some of the weather <laughs> folks, and be like, "Yo." No wind today. We gotta we gotta keep it calm <laughs> that day for sure. Yes. All right, is sun and fun a good time for non-pilots as well as seasoned pilots? Absolutely. Um, I actually gave an interview to uh, actually a competing uh, news organization, yeah. uh, Fox Ten, <laughs> That's the okay. other we day. Want everyone to yes, come, there right? you go. But there is something for everyone yeah. here, especially this year. Um, so even for the little kiddos to the older kiddos. Um, you know, Future in Flight Plaza, you know, we've talked about that in the past. There, again, is something for everyone. Family Oasis, yeah. right? So we have activity areas just for the kids in the Family Oasis, plus daycare there with Carol Lee. But our Junior Aces program, as Eric talked about as well. So, again, from car seat to cockpit, there's something for everybody. Obviously, our daytime and nighttime air shows, yeah. Sunset Aerial Circus, Paradise City, exhibitors this year. you got to check out all of our exhibitors' record numbers um, and all their new toys and latest things you can buy if you're an aviator or not. So we have some non-aviation companies as well, so there's something but for everybody out enthusiast, here. Enthusiasts, people just want to have a good time, great mm -hmm. entertainment. So, Absolutely. Yeah. We're ready. All right. Any plans to build more brick and mortar shower houses? Yes. Yeah, so I think in the last <laughs> countdown, we talked about our site development plan and mm -hmm. what we're doing in partnership with the airport and Visit Central Florida for our next 50 years. Um, so through that plan, our master site plan effort, we are going to be looking at pot potential opportunities. Now, if my airport friends are probably watching this, they're cringing at me right now. Um, <laughs> but when we look at the site, we want to look at those opportunities to build new shower houses, maybe in lieu of having the island having to build tents, we would have permanent shower houses. Now, let me, let me quantify that comment with <laughs> It's years and years out, probably well over a decade, if not more, but we're, gonna, we're doing the planning now. Um, and again, we want to be able to present that during Sun and Fun uh, next year, which is April 1st through, through the 6th, 2025. Not that we're already thinking about it, but we are. Um, you know, but again, that is something that we're going to be looking at over the next year. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, and will there be a following up on that water stations that we can fill our water bottles with? Yes, Absolutely. Uh, so that was part of our yep. guest experience effort with our surveys mm -hmm. last year. Um, so we will have water stations with bottle fillers um, at various locations, especially around the exhibit buildings, even out on the uh, crowd line for the air show viewing area. Uh, we'll have a uh, bottle, uh, you know, filling stations there, and along with all of our shower houses and comfort stations, whether it is at the island, it's out in GAC, it's at Vintage, at Paradise City, um, we'll have bottle bottle fillers at all these locations to make They'll sure They'll be people combined can. with some of our charging stations. That's correct, yes. with our charging stations as well. So once you fill up your bottle, you then can you can wait for your, you can drink your uh, water while you're waiting yeah. for your, uh, phone, char to your charge. phone to charge. There you you got to stay hydrated. There it's you super important, especially yes. on those warm days. Absolutely. Um, can we upgrade uh, on parking if we buy parking on site? Laura, that's uh, a good question. Yes, we can. Um, it's it's better if you go ahead and take mm -hmm. care of it ahead of time because it does slow down the line. But we can pull you to the side and do an upgrade for you if that's if that's yes, what you can. wish to do. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Will there be sunscreen available for purchase at the event and where? I asked this question yesterday. Misty's going to have it available at the Island Country Store. Okay. And doesn't I believe Neil at our merchandise tents? I believe I he believe sells he sunscreen sells it there as, well. as well. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. Plenty of spots to get it, and you'll want to bring. 
doing it. Hey, and I encourage you with the sunscreen in Florida, the key is first thing in the morning, put on the sunscreen yeah. and then it absorbs. Trust me, <laughs> I was out on the field the last three days for over five hours. Um, Hawaiian Tropic in the morning, go out. I did not get sunburned. I'm, I'm not even that that red so yeah. there you go but you got to do it in the morning and don't sometimes wait on those cool days you don't even know you're getting burnt but you're out there on the tarmac walking around and it's uh, strong also and i would argue with anybody on this one the sprays don't work as well as the lotions i'm sorry when i see people do this i'm just like well you're they're just completely spots. wasting your time the lotion is the best way to go so i just do that <laughs> all right and uh, the hats and the, um, hats the sunglasses, are too. Yes. Very sunglasses important. and hats yes. and sunscreen. Yes. yes, all of the above. Will there be any World War II airplanes flying? <laughs> yes, lots of them. <laughs> so, you know, Warbirds this year, big focus on Warbirds for us this year. So we're going to have our formations arriving mm -hmm. for, uh, with us on Tuesday. We've talked about the Connie is coming. Yeah. The Tiger Cats can be flying. Mm -hmm. We have... Our friends Lee Lauterbach at Stallion 51, uh, Jack Aces, they're going to be flying. Um, we have Scooter Yoke in his P-51, Class of 45 with Jim Tobel in his Korean War Hero Corsair. Um, with plenty of World War II aircraft flying, um, and so there's lots and lots of warbirds this year, so be ready for that. But yes, they will be here in force this year. I'm Absolutely. very excited. Is there a limit on um, electricity spots? Electric so hookup yes. spots yes. Yep, for camping. Yes, they're pre-assigned and okay. basically gone at this point. <laughs> yes, okay. they're, they were gone they, this they, time they, last yeah, they've year. They've been gone <laughs> yes. a little while. So. Yes. All right, so hopefully, hopefully you have it already. Is there a designated area in general aircraft camping for group aircraft camping? You know, we had that. We were looking at it last year, but we did not implement this no, for this year No, and it's still either. on the map. I don't know what the intentions are. We don't have an actual plan for it. Mm -hmm. Normally what happens if you can get with the people parking the airplanes, if you want to be with a group, they can pretty much work that out for you once yep. you get on the and field. And if you come in in a gaggle, you guys are kind of in trail yeah. as you're flying in. You know, they're, you're going to park close to each yeah. other anyway. And don't forget your placards. You know, so once Absolutely. you land, you're taxiing around to help our marshalers, our volunteers out there. Make sure you got your placards in your window so they know where to where you want to park. So yeah, you know help, where helps to them go. direct the airplane. Absolutely. All right, Gene, this one's for you. All right, Gene, <laughs> where is your pickle? Hard to miss. Right here. I don't know how much better. See that? Let me get the glare off of there. See, there's my pickle right there. It's all about the pickle this year. So when you see pickles out there, there's a rhyme and a reason to that. It's all about customer service this year. Just give them the pickle. There you go. All <laughs> right. And I think the time has come okay. to announce our Ooh. giveaway winners. Of course, we've been talking all day long about if you commented and left the hashtag, we were going to be giving away two VIP packages. You want to do the honors? Well, well you we do the honors. Winners. You do the first one and I'll okay, do the next one. All right. One. I'll do the first one. Keith Young is our first winner. Keith Young. And we have two packages, so there's another winner. Well, of course, I get the one of the last name I can probably not pronounce. Carrie Castingve? Castingve? Something like that? <laughs> Carrie, C A S T O N G V A Y, or whatever. Sounds great. You won too. Either so there way, you go. <laughs> we are going to be messaging you two for uh, and how to collect your prizes. Congratulations. Uh, I want to say thank you to Lori here for thank joining you. us. And of course, thank you for sticking with us on this final episode of Countdown. Thank you. Episode. Yes. Hey, and thank you to the crew here, yeah. to Dave Kalahar, all the volunteers mm -hmm. for making us look great. This has been absolutely awesome. Thank you to everybody. I'm probably missing what I'm supposed to read here. <laughs> They're all... I, I don't even know what it says anymore. Basically um, what you said. They're okay. really helpful. We, <laughs> everyone went here too has fast. been really helpful. We trust that you have found these broadcasts helpful as well for you at home, for everyone flying in, traveling in, and we are very excited to see you coming in for next week. Of course, that all-important NOTAM is up on yes, our website. Very, NOTAM. very important. Um, and, of course, those volunteer download updates the as well. The and download app. the app when you, before you get here or when you get here. Again, it's going to be on your wristband, your weekly yeah. or daily wristband. And the QR code will be on there so you can download it right I'm away. I'm sure there will be QR codes uh, scattered about as well. Once you get here, you're going to realize that you need that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, 
Very excited. One week away. One week away. It's coming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here thank we go. You, Amanda. It's okay, our 50th. Thank you. Oh, I'm and thank so yes, thank you for here. everything. Oh, we no. appreciate all your help and this everything that you do for us. So we we thank you very much. And we're not done yet. We are not done. We'll <laughs> so don't forget, starting next week, Monday, April 8th at 9 a.m. Eastern, we're gonna be back every single morning with Sun and Fun live today. So this has been countdown to Sun and Fun, right? Yep, yep. The next one is gonna be Sun and Fun live today. Every morning through Sunday, we'll be here with the latest information, special guests, of course, inside info for your Sun and Fun Aviation Expo experience. So don't miss that every morning starting Monday at 9 a.m. Until then, thank you for watching. We're going to let Gene go finish wrap, wrapping up hey, everything. Hey, love y'all. It's going to be a great week for us. Yeah. Be safe getting here. Again, study the NOTAM, know the NOTAM, uh -huh. be safe, and, and we love our volunteers. Thank you all for everything. We look forward to seeing you here for our 50th. It's going to be an awesome week for us. Love y'all. Appreciate everything. We'll see you next week.